we are in the lab of the Carol J. and Barney Barnett Learning Center. We had our ribbon cutting on October 8, 2014, and it was a really exciting moment for us because it was the first time that we had redone our classrooms or done anything with our learning spaces since we opened in 1995. When we started designing the Carol J. and Barney Barnett Learning Center, we started thinking about what are our goals, and we wanted the students that came to the Learning Center to feel like they were participating in something completely unique. We have five distinct learning spaces, six if you actually include the interactive hub where the students start their programming. And this is just one example, and this is our lab. This is primarily for older students, but each room has a different feeling, a different focus, a different theme. They all represent a learning space that feels like you're almost immersed in an exhibit. This will be our first summer where our campers get to come and be part of this immersive experience in the Learning Center. So we run camps from pre-K, three and four year olds, all the way up into age 18, believe it or not. We have a, a dive camp for um, high school students. So students come on site and they do dissections, they do crafts, they, they view our galleries, they do lots of different things. One of the really unique things about our program is we have travel camps for grades four through eight. And those students come and spend a little bit of time here, but then we get them out into the environment. So they spend the week going around and looking at springs, going to the beach, um, doing all kinds of fun things. So we have students here on site in the Learning Center doing all kinds of fun camp stuff and then we have kids out in the community really experiencing all the wonderful things that Florida has to offer. But over the last 20 years we've really grown and expanded to reach all different kinds of audiences. Actually even before the Florida Aquarium opened in 1995 there were educators out in the community doing outreach programs. So education has been a part of our mission even before we opened the doors. So from the very beginning we've been doing teacher workshops, we've been doing classroom programs. When school groups come on field trips they might spend some time with an instructor maybe doing a squid dissection, or learning a little bit about some of the animals we have on our pathway. So each one of our learning center spaces is equipped with this 70-inch Mondo pad. And essentially what this is, is a giant tablet device. It can do anything a computer or an interactive touch pad can do. And one of the things we love to do are squid dissections. And our squid are only about yay big. So some of the things that we're looking at can be quite small. What you see here are images of chromatic pores. And these are the pigment cells that are on a squid. So sometimes when kids are looking at their squid and they're not quite sure what they're looking for, we can show them a magnified image and circle and say, this is exactly what you're looking for. So they can be dissecting the squid right at their lab bench and be looking up here for some visual cues of some of the things they might be looking for. For example, when we actually start talking about the squid beak, Unless you're talking about the giant Architeuthis squid, our squid, again, being about this big, you might not quite know what you're looking for. And when you see an image like this, and we're able to come and say, look, this is what you're looking for, and this is what it looks like magnified, kids can really see and explore their squid with their hands and also with their eyes. So it's one of the really neat things that we've been doing. So what I'd like to do is take us into the coastal room so we can take a look at some other immersive activities that we do here. So welcome to the Florida Coastal Room. One of the things I'm gonna be showing you is an experience that students in here have meeting some of our live invertebrates, such as our pencil urchin right here, which is one of my favorites because a lot of times when you look at it, you don't even really think about it as being a real living animal. And one of the really fascinating things about the animal world is that over 97% of the animals out there are animals just like this, invertebrates, no backbone or spine. We're part of the 3%, all the vertebrates, and those are the animals we're most familiar with. But this little critter here, the pencil urchin, is really cool because it doesn't even have a brain, and yet somehow it knows how to eat. It's got a mouth here on the underside. And so kids can come in here and actually touch a real live animal and see what it's like to look at a critter that knows how to eat and move around without even having a brain. So it kind of makes us think about the mysteries of science by getting hands on. So I think with that, we're gonna wrap up and head to In My Backyard Learning Space. So we are in a room called In My Backyard and we designed it to look like you're literally in your backyard. So this room was designed with early lear learners involved, um, even everything down to the little chairs. We kept all the needs of early childhood learners in mind. So we made it very welcoming, immersive. When the kids come in, they see lots of color, but they also see things that are very familiar, things they literally might see in their very backyard. 
And most of the program that goes on in this room focuses on Florida habitats and the things that kids can become familiar with. Because we've learned through research and working with scientists that have become wonderful environmentalists, most kids get excited about nature through the things that they see every day in their own backyard. And it's only later in life that they start to explore the Galapagos Islands or the Marianas Trench. And they really start to build a foundation of what is nature and what are all the things that are around us and what do things really need to thrive. And I'm very excited to say that we actually have a special guest with us here today named Tango. Hi Tango, come on out! This is Tango, our female loggerhead sea turtle. She's one of the newest additions to our team here. So if you come to the Florida Aquarium as part of our 20th anniversary celebration, wherever you might meet Tango for yourself. So let's give a big old wave Tango and we'll take it on out from here. <laughs> 